Hi, my name is Robin Eagle Sage, just like two birds and a plant, or two birds and a wise person. And um, I am a medical intuitive, and I am doing this video to help um, educate people on what that means to be a medical intuitive. And I know that um, amongst the different intuitives, we all work differently. Um, so I want to explain how I work. Um, I am clairvoyant, so what that means is that I see energy as if it's a color and it also has lots of pictures embedded in it and symbols. Um, it's the same as if you're, you're um, sleeping at night or sleeping in the day and uh, you see lots of colors and pictures. Well, that's what I see. I just close my eyes and I tune into the person. All they have to do is give me their name. I don't need any other <laughs> details about their weight or age or anything like that. Um, and I just tune right into them and um, can see what's going on both positively and negatively for their health. So um, because I see energy in my mind's eye, I don't need to have the person in front of me. Um, I do all of my work now over the telephone, which is really convenient because I can work internationally and help more people that way. So that's nice. Um, so basically a medical intuitive is a person, um, in my case, that focuses mostly on um, health. And that's just because I love health. I love to be healthy and I like to help people to achieve their maximum health. And um, I've just found it's a lot easier than people make it out to, to be. And um, so uh, I like to work with um, sickness because it's a single uh, focused issue and I can tune right into the illness and see what's causing it and how to cure it. And um, one thing that I want to point out is that all the different aspects of ourselves, that whether it's the mental, the emotional, the spiritual, um, it's all connected. It really is. And so if you have a backache or anything going on, um, you have to know that there's a, an emotional issue behind that. And it is the emotional issue which starts first. So that's the little seed of um, discombobulation or blockage that begins to grow in the body. And emotions are energy too. Everything's made out of energy. So first we start with an energy blockage and then that with a lot of time will turn into a physical blockage. So if you can get to the energy blockages first, that's wonderful, right? Because um, then you don't have to go through any of the physical pain. Not that emotional pain isn't horrible also, but uh, it uh, can also save from um, that physical stuff that um, can be challenging to let go of. Um, and I say that because people get, uh, myself included, get very addicted to their issues. And it may seem that it's a very negative issue and why would anyone want to be addicted to it? But whatever the reason is, we do. We, uh, just like we sometimes uh, love people that are unhealthy for us, it, uh, it happens. It's part of our growth as a human. <laughs> So um, those are the issues that I like to help people with to get to the bottom of. Um, so when I'm giving someone a reading, uh, like I said, I'll hear their name and I'll tune into them and I'll see what's causing the issue. So that means I'm going to be looking at the emotional reasons, definitely. The physical reasons, and physical reasons can be um, toxins that you've um, taken into your body. That can be in the form of pollution or uh, substances or food. Uh, it can be anything really. It can be um, antibiotics that you've taken. It could be a spider bite that you've gotten that um, you didn't know caused other reactions. Um, and so it's like a big chain reaction in your body. And um, another physical cause could be, you know, breaking something. So any kind of um, physical thing, um, exercising, not exercising enough. Um, and uh, so then I would look at the mental issue, which is so important because um, you can eat all the healthiest food in the world, but if you have a bad attitude, 
then you can bet that your um, overall health is not going to be well either. And when I say overall health, I'm not just talking about your physical health. I'm talking about uh, the way you feel, the way you look, um, the amount of money that you make, your friends, your, your love in your life, your relationships, all of it is a part of our overall health. Um, what else? The spiritual um, aspect of health. Um, I, it all kind of blends together after a while, but the spiritual to me could be past lives. And um, what I've seen from doing a gazillion readings throughout my lifetime is that um, we tend to repeat, unfortunately, <laughs> our patterns from past lives as well. And um, and those um, painful past lives really come and bleed over into our present lifetime. So it's a really wonderful thing to look at past lives. People say, oh, past lives are the past. It doesn't matter. Well, believe me, it does. They do. Um, they really create your present if you haven't let go of some difficult experience that has happened in the past. So those are very important to look at as well. And then... Um, after explaining about all those things, um, then I, of course, look at the cures, which is the fun part. And um, the cures are just like the um, blockages. They come in every different form. They come in exercise. They come in meditation. They come in foods and supplements and ways of thinking and things that you need to let go of, things that you need to clear, things that you need to um, create uh, more beauty and abundance with. Um, emotional support so it's it's so many different things it's physical things as well as all the others um, so that is a little bit about how I work and um, I do healing work as well as reading work um, when I'm with a client and the timing just depends on what the client needs um, sometimes it's nice to have an hour reading that gets a lot of the information and I like to record those because people don't tend to retain everything in one session. And then after that, the next session, I like to do some deep healing work that, you know, very cellular level. Um, so the next topic that I'd like to talk about is the ability to read energy. Um, this is not a gift. It is not a gift from God. It's something that all of us have and all of us can learn. Um, I did see pictures when I was a small child, but I had my formal training when I was in my 30s. And um, when I graduated, I was so excited. I wanted to tell the whole world that everyone can do this. This is not a gift, it's an ability. And so I opened up my school, the Sage School of Light, in 1999, and I've been teaching people since. Uh, I teach group classes now. I have a medical intuitive training program. It's uh, basically you're reading, learning how to read and heal energy. And there's a different topic each week. It's Wednesday night, 6 p.m. Pacific time for two hours, uh, conference call. And it's a lot of fun. And yes, of course you can read energy over the phone because energy is energy. We're tuning into it in our mind's eye. We are reading it in our mind's eye not with our physical eyes in front of us. So, um, so yes, if you have any interest, you too can learn how to read energy. It's actually quite fun and it's very easy. So I just want to dispel the myth that it's this complicated, mysterious thing. It's not. It's uh, pretty straightforward and um, totally helpful uh, in terms of understanding your life and understanding life in general and understanding other people and how patterns work it's it's fascinating and it really opened up my eyes and my whole world when I learned how to read energy and that's why it's important for me to teach as many people as I can on this planet and to raise the vibration of this world if you have any questions at all please feel free to contact me my website is www robin eagle sage.com and my email is info at robin eagle sage.com and my phone number is area code 808-268-8501 take care and many blessings bye bye